Sue Wei and today I'm going to show you something so oh no I'm going to give you what I like about the games I recently got hang on just give me a few minutes I'll just get it out Heavy, you're heavy. Okay, so recently I went out a few days, traded, and got some games. So, the first two I'm gonna do is review the Nintendo Switch games. So, this is through Slay's Collection. I played it, and it's really fun because you get like a little downloadable um, contact, and you can download all these old ones. But the main game on this one is this game right here, Doom. And it's really fun. Just, I am a bit stuck at the moment at the second part of the game, but I am trying to figure out what to do because I just need to find more ammo to kill off all these, like, demons and whatever they are but it's basically a really fun game you're just fighting off demons saving the world as usual and make sure the human race is safe and so on but this is a good game i do love doom i do love fps shooters it's really cool yeah it's a good game then i have this game who i've always wanted and played it i'm just going to write right through the tutors right now to learn how to play the game but there are like controls that you can learn how to do it and it's really good because i always pick one of like the strongest pokemon and it's sort of like a like street fighter and tekken but with pokemon and it's really good so it's super much super, super much fun super fun and I enjoy it the most. So I am just gaining to learn these two games. Not so difficult. Oh yeah. And also you can choose like a um, strategy. Like I did beginner. Because I'm only a noob. Okay. And then I also got this the other day. I can switch. <gasps> no! No, 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 no. Oh, sorry about that. So one thing I love about this. Is a lot like a Game Boy, but it is a knockoff of the NES, NES Flash Game Boy. It has about 400 games in it, and all like NES games, so they're really, really fun. Um, also, the buttons are amazing and very, very good. Bit tough, but I'm sure I'll be fine. And yeah, like, but this one, what I like about this one, instead of using like normal batteries, you don't use batteries, you use these little chargers that you have for your old phones and you just charge it with a micro, a U, micro USB which is this little here, port here and you can put your phones here and you put your charging cable here, it's the on off button and on the side is the volume button so you can turn it down I like the concept of it, and it's done by a company called SUP, which is really good. And, like a Game Boy, you can pick, um, it, the screen is really lovely, but I wish they did contrast. They didn't do contrast, so it's very f hard to see sometimes. So you press start, and basically some of the games are pretty good. I like some of the games. My favorite game is pretty much Pac-Man, Pinball, and I don't know what other games that I would like in the future, but they got some really good games in it. And yeah, I like the background too, so it's pretty alright, it's alright, so there's a lot of good games I like. And if, oops, if I need to charge it, I just easily charge it without having to worry about batteries. So that is the one thing I like about sub games, and it's just perfect for my little tiny sway hands. And I'm using the old 3DS case to put it in to keep protected because I broke my uh, classic Nintendo, not classic Nintendo, sorry, um, my, uh, what, did, what is it called? Uh, my, um, I forgot what it's called now, uh, gaming watch Mario game back. So then, because I didn't protect it well, so that's pretty much my own fault. So this game I got is by Haba Games. 
And the reason why I like Harbour Game because they are an amazing company and make the best games. And it's all eight from one two ninety nine. So I can be old and still have to scan. I'm like thirty three and I play these games. It's super fun. This game is really cool because all you need to do is build these clouds and crystals and horse and unicorns around. And all you do is you you can play your friends and you just roll dice whatever number you can land on. If you get a star, you can land on anyone. If you get and then if you get like three cloud storms from one of the, because you gotta turn over the white cloud and blue clouds, you're out but I mean game is over. But if you but if you die and you get a, a sun you're fine. So what you have to do is you gotta stack all these two characters together. And the only time you turn a white and blue cloud over if one of these guys knock down and then you have to put it back to your like pile like this and then you keep going on. But but if you get three storm clouds, you're out. You I mean you're not out, everybody's out and the game starts again. But that's the game because it's a lot of concentration and brain a lot of work um exercising your brain trying to figure out how to stand these characters without falling. And it's both for all ages. And then you got another game, that's a two player game, but I made up some cards using Harry Potter houses and it's called Dragon's Breath. And in Dragon's Breath Basically, what you have to do is everyone, there are four players, and everybody gets this, has to share this lovely red dragon. So, and everybody picks a color crystal and put it onto their side. And when whoever is the dragon holding the dragon, and you start from left, will pick up one ice and whatever color falls. So if you say for example, if you are a red crystal, you pick up the red crystals and, and the other ones, whatever their colors is, they got to pick up the color of their crystals and pretty much they have to put into the little caves, which is like behind this little dude here and here and here and here. And then in the end, and then with those, whatever crystals are left and they don't have the color off, it goes through these holes. Now whoever's got the most crystal wins the game. So setup's pretty good and I love it very much, very enjoyable, enjoyable, enjoyable game. So yeah, um, pretty much it's a super fun game and I like it. So I'm going to give you the, the breaks for each game. So we're starting off the Switch game. 50 out 50, 50 out 50, and then the sub game. I'm going to go 50 out of 10, it's okay. It's just that I'm not proud of the contrast. Oopsies. I'm not proud of the contrast because if the contrast was good, I can like um, control the brightness and stuff. And the battery cage, it's not a really stable battery cage because every time if I take something out it falls off so they need to kind of do better at the back of make sure this is stable and the, they need a contest contrast sorry so we can control the brightness that's the only thing so it's 50 out of 10 sorry but it's a good game still good and then these games deserve more points than the last three. I'm gonna get a hundred out of a hundred and a hundred of a hundred. So well done, you guys. How about games? You got mostly the most record. And yeah, that's about it. Bye.